Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Swords and Sandals Crusader. In the last episode, apparently Antares is returning, according to Arglax. Lovely. Anyway, what's more important is this. Okay, so I feel like I want to add in some siege here because my sort of catapult didn't really do very well last time, so I'm going to increase siege. And chapter 2 now, Sword Hand of the Night. The Beast Lord's words echo long into the night. Antares has returned. The news is dire. Antares waged war against the kingdom many years ago, and everything else happened. Uh, our story continues with Lionel's childhood friend, Sir Belgrave. Right here, an ambitious knight. As he makes his claim for power. Ah, good old uh, Sir Belgrave's here. Getting cool, Belgrave. Look at you. Anyway, politics of faith. With the death of Vrain's Galrin, a power struggle has erupted in the Templar Church. As one of the most promising young knights in the Order, you must raise support for the, your cause quickly, for other rival knights lay claim to the throne. By riding to the crucial voting chapters of the Templar Church, scattered throughout Brandor, gather your finest knights to move quickly if you are to fulfill your ambition of becoming leader of the Templar Church. Control the provinces of Handoff, Sol's Gateway, Artmagus, and Plithian Cove in 15 turns. Let's go. This guy's obviously still here. So, we need Sol's Gateway. Sol's Gateway is up here. We'll go for that one last. Uh, Artmagus, Handoff. Because Handoff's here, so that's fine. That's an easy one. Artmagus is here. Where's the cove? Plithian Cove. There you are. Okay, let's go for this one first, shall we? No, let's go, let's go here first. Oh, crap, I can't. Okay, let's go to Art Mages then first. Then we want to go... Which way? This way? Okay, so he's making his move. Fine by me. Okay, now we want to get hand off here. Now we make our move upwards. We have six, not many turns to do this. We only have 15 turns, remember, to do it. And Saul's Gateway's up there, and he's got troops. We have captured this land from him, though, so that's good. And we can now go to Saul's Gateway. We've only got some cavalry units, okay. That's, that's usually fine. Can I build, can I make anyone? Yes, I can. I can make some more cavalry units. Okay, so I know I didn't, I probably didn't explain it very well yesterday. Oh, not, well, yeah, technically yesterday, in the last video, uh, about what these units do. So I'm going to go through it now. So first off, the light infantry units. Uh, regardless of which uh, sort of character you play as, you will have six specific classes of units. One of them is the, well, the siege catapult. So we know of that one already, so... There's a siege catapult. It's to break down castles and everything like that. And you need one of them to get to the castle. Or to get through the castle. So, there you go. That's that one. Anyway, light infantry. Um, so, yes. Light infantry units are the most expendable. They're the cheapest. Uh, just 10 gold pieces for that. Uh, you can get 40 of them in your army at one time. So, 400 gold and you're there. Uh, it's, not the, it's, it's not the weakest member, but... It's certainly not strongest. They're pretty expendable, and we have raised dead, which gives us infantry anyway, light infantry. So we're fine with that. But not bad to have a couple anyway. Right, heavy infantry. Uh, 10, uh, 50 uh, gold pieces for these guys. And I believe you can have 10 of these in your team at once. Uh, they have a lot better morale. They have a lot more damage, more defense, more offense. Pretty good altogether. Pretty strong. The Cavalier Lord, the, the Cavaliers, these are awesome. That damage is amazing. They got great morale, they got really good health. Like, more than the heavies, actually, I think. No, say, no, it is more than heavies. So, yeah, double the heavies. But they've also got more uh, attack, defense, and damage as well. These guys are awesome. And, you know, you could put these against most things and you'll probably be okay. These things can even take down... Like Colossus, like Colossi, so yeah, pretty good. Right, range troops. These, I think, are the weakest, I believe. Mm, 
are they the weakest? No, I think they're about the same. No, they are the weakest because they got less morale. Uh, but yeah, still, these guys are awesome. Uh, they have their own turn. Having a lot of these in your team is good because you can just pick off enemies. Really nice to get these. Um, really bad in battle. You do not want to be sending these guys into battle. You just don't want to do it. It's not a good idea. Um, but yeah, get as many of these as possible and just overpower your opponent with arrows. A rain hellfire of arrows. It's always nice. Uh, that's obviously the uh, siege equipment, so we know about that by now. The catapult. And last but not least, the Colossus. So, Belgrave has got the Grail Knight. Uh, these cost 800 gold pieces. You can only have one in your army at once. But look at that power. That uh, Great defense, great offense, great damage. These things can usually take out anything. But you do want to keep them for going against a fellow Colossus. They are terrifyingly powerful. But, yeah, uh, one of these guys could take out an entire army. Let's put it that way. They're pretty good. Anyway, so let's do this now. Our chances have increased. Let's take to the battlefield. Fisticuffs at Saul's Gateway. Indeed it is. Alright, so here we just want to go for a first attack on their one polar barbarian. There you go. Two of mine got hurt. That's fine. They're still okay. Alright, since there are no archers, we go straight to the next move. Who's going to be... Oh! They've got summon critters! Which has murdered... Two of my guys. That sucks. Should still have enough firepower, I think, to finish them off. I should. Yeah. Easy. And there you go. Didn't lose a single one. So that's how good the cavalry units are in this game. They're really good. And there you go. We've got all the crucial provinces. The majority of Templar Church chapter swears loyalty to you. And you are elected to the exalted position of High Marshal. A position you have sought your entire life. However, the challenge has just begun as the Templar Church faces its darkest days yet. Right, what do we want now? I feel like getting fear here is not bad. Just a different spell, so I'm going to get fear. Right, Sword Hand of the Night, Chapter 2, Mission 2, An Ape Escape. You are summoned to the court of King Lionel, an old friend and trusted ally. Lionel explains that the Beast Lord Arglax has escaped from his cell at Fatal and must be tracked down. The King also hints some more dire news. Arglax, it seems, has stolen the crucial Kingdom battle plans. If these documents are not recovered, the Templar Church and its allies are in grave danger. Stop Arglax before he has time to decipher the rune codes on the documents. Your ally King Lionel will help in this battle. Destroy Arglax's campaign army in ten turns. Let's go. So there's Lionel. There's you, and there's Arglax. So, we don't fight um, Lionel here, we just fight Arglax. We just want to punch Arglax in the face, essentially. So, could we possibly try and corner Arglax here? We can now. He'll have nowhere to move if we go here. Yeah. You've got to fight us. You have to fight us now. Alright, so what do we got? What, what, what can we actually buy? Can we actually buy anything? We can buy cavalry. That's about it. Okay, I'm going to move one more. There you go. Oh, he's actually fighting me! Ugh, I don't like that. Your garrison at Dankhart is being attacked by forces from Arglax Force. Okay. A scuffle at Dankhart. Oh, God. Right, let's kick off with... Let's kick off with fear. Ha! We got rid of your archers! We got rid of your archers! That's a really good for us. We got rid of his archers. Brilliant. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to send in my knights. Oh! War drums. Darn it. Well, it gives me a free turn to injure more of his people. Okay, let's go Templar Lords then. The Lords versus the Simeon Heroes! Oh, it's a tie! Neither of them died. Ah, we killed one of the guys. Okay, let's go for our Templar Knights now. Oh, it's the Knights vs. the Heroes. Oh, okay. Nothing happened there. Bombardment! Oh, we killed both of their Knights! We killed both their Cavaliers! That's really good for us. Go, Templar Lords! Murder them! Four of them died. Really good. Now fire on them! One injured. Not bad, not bad at all. 
More Templar Lord action versus the Baboon Lords. Oh, the Baboon Lords killed my, uh, my cavalry. That's not good. Aha, but we got our revenge. Go, Templar Knights. Murder them. There you go. Bit of damage there. We're getting them. Five left. Three left. Attack the Baboon Lords. Okay. Stalemate there. We lost one. They lost one. That's not bad. Oh, okay. It's just him. It's just him. Let's send our cavalry in now. See what they can do. Ooh, stalemate. We lost one. Here come the arrows. Oh, he's got injured. He's been injured. Go, big man. Ho, oh, ho. Getting close. Here come the archers. And he kills them. We were victorious indeed. And there you go. Arglax, defeated once again on the battlefield, proves to be a slippery character. He flees into the desert lands, shadowed by simian archers. Before not, but not before you rest the battle plans from his simian paws. Nice. Right. Let's go for... See, so yeah, we can power it up now. We can power up archery. So we'll power up mercantile at the same time. And fear did really well last time, so we're going to improve fear as well. Fear. All right. Sword Hand of the Night, Chapter 2, Mission 3. Punish the Unbelievers. The heathen barbarian lords of the north have long mocked Saul the One, god of the Templar Church. Bors the Mighty himself has called your god a weakling and a bedwetter. What an evil bastard. Saul will have his vengeance. You must raise an army and raise the city of Warmhaven to the ground. Those who will not be converted must be put to the sword. Sounds like most religions, to be honest. Oh, you don't believe in the same one that I believe in? Well, you're, you suck. You go to hell. This is like, piss off, will you? Leave me alone. Right. So, we need to go and fight this goober. Old boars. More like boar. Massive boar you are. You look like you're bored, to be honest. Look at him. Looks like bored. Oh. Okay, so sometimes uh, you get a random event here. Sporting injuries ravage your army. You uh, just held the annual Templar Church football and jousting tournament, and your troop participated enthusiastically. Perhaps overly so. Before you could say Achilles tendon, eight of your soldiers have been struck down with assorted real and not-so-real sporting injuries. Oh, good. So, essentially, we just lost some a lot of units there. So, we need to rebuy... Some Templar Crusaders. There you go. Now I'll move in. Is he going to fight me? Nope. Okay. Let's fight him here. Okay then. Yeah, I think we'll be alright here. The Decisive Battle of Gunteria. Look at this. Alright. Fear! Oh! Number of troops. Legate. Ripped by fear. Nice. Oh, we took out one of their archers as well. That's really good. That is really good. Okay, uh, let's send the cavalry. Let's, let's send these units in. Oh, wow. Well, the skirmishers are gone. There go your archers. Why would you send your archers in? You dummy. They are not good in battle. Nine troops uh, with the arrows in the face. Templar lords, attack the polar barbarians. Two dead on their side. Really good for us. That leaves three. Oh, and five troops killed as well. Really good. Oh, here come the critters. Ow. Okay, we lost six troops there. I don't think we lost anyone really important, though. So I think we're okay. We can keep going in for the attacks here. Versus the Polar Barbarians. Okay, we killed another one. <coughs> we lost one of our own, which is not good, but we did kill one of theirs. So, it, pretty much a stalemate. Alright, the Blue Raiders now. Ooh, we've killed one, two, three. Nice, we didn't lose one. Very good. Very good indeed. Bombardment! Oh, another two got down. Another two down. Um, should I raise dead here? Nah, nah, I'll just go in. We should kill them off here. Yes, we do. We lost one, but we've lo we've got rid of their polar barbarians. 
Really good. And they lose three more. Templar Lords, go in! Destroy the Blue Raiders! There you go! All you've got is infantry now. The light infantry is all you've got left. And that's not gonna last. Not through the power of molten death! Dragons, you missed! You dummies! Thank God for my archers. Victory! Nice! We got rid of uh, 42 of his, armor, of his, of his uh, army there. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go here. Oh no, we can't. We can go here and beat him up again! Okay, this is gonna be a decisive, this can be an easy victory, so I'm just gonna auto battle it. There you go. He would have died anyway. But now he's stuck! He's stuck here! Let's dig for some treasure. Nothing. Oh well. So that's one thing you can do. You can dig for treasure. Which is quite useful. Um, so what we're going to do here is we are going to buy a troop. Uh, do we have a... Oh, we do have a catapult. Oh. Huh. Okay. Or we'll buy some more Templar Rangers. Alright. Time for the Siege of Warmhaven. Let's go. 70% chance of victory. I'll take that. The Siege of Warmhaven. We outnumber their armies. All we need to do is just fire them. Oh, I missed. And they killed two of my guys. Aha! But I killed four of their guys. Followed by another four and we're in. So yeah, you just need to destroy the, uh, the main wall really there. Right, let's cast fear. Yes! Well, to make you afraid, you sods. You have one archer left. You still have an archer left. And you did nothing with him. Alright, where's me? Where's me cavalry? There they are. Murder! Ooh, it's the heavy units. Goodbye, heavy units! Oh god. Where is he? There he is! <laughs> there go the blue raiders. Oh, and your infantry's taking a hit. It's a fine hit. Okay, let's let's bring the heavies in now. The heavies versus the berserkers. The Berserkers are fearful and I'm not surprised! Look at that! Completely destroyed them in one turn! Oh, and there goes them! All that leaves is the Polar Bear Barbarian versus four of the Templar Lords. We lost one, but he lost the, his uh, last one. Victory! He's been vanquished. And with that, we have conquered Warmhaven. The city of Warmhaven has been decimated by your siege. The cowardly barbarians fleeing northward rather than facing the judgment of Sul. Thanks to your efforts, they will never again mock the one true faith of the Templar Church. Indeed. Right. I feel like Colossus Mastery and a bit of Ray's dead here. Because why not? Right. Mission 4. The Grail Quest. Dig up the Grail of Saul, rumored to be high in the mountains in 16 turns or less. In a dream, you see a golden chalice in the desert, wreathed in light and emanating a vast aura of power. You recognize this chalice as the Grail of Saul, a legendary artifact which will summon to your army the awesome power of the Grail Knight. Find this Grail. So it's in the mountains. Could be in any of the mountains. I don't know. Should I check around here first? Nah, let's, let's, let's make our way up. So I'm going to guess and say that it's up here somewhere. So Gallowstones Stones is not a mountain, is it? No. That's not a mountain either. That's a tundra. So that's not a mountain. That's a mountain. Nothing here. So digging for treasure does take up a turn. So be wary of that. So I may actually lose this. I'm not too sure. I may I may lose it. Oh, this is fields. Well, it's not going to be here, is it? Okay, so... Really? So it's got to be... In handoff, then. No? To be high in the mountains. Oh. What the bloody hell is it? I'm sure I've checked all the mountain areas. Yeah. 
Ow, well, 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 we're dead. We failed. Ah, well. And that ends the game, but luckily we can just go back into it, so we're fine. Right, uh, so behind the mountains in 16 turns or less. Okay. Ugh. Can't be an art mages, that's not a mountain, that's a tundra. It's there! Ahem! <clears throat> mountain! Not a mountain, that's a tundra! Just saying. Artifact found, mission complete. All your life you have dreamed of the day that you would hold aloft the Grail of Sul and raise the Grail Knight. With the power of this mighty Colossus in your army, the enemies of Sul will kneel before the light. Indeed they will. And with that, we'll just power up some stuff. I guess I'll get some uh, defensive tactics, why not? Alright! Might as well do this one as well, finish off the chapter. Retribution of the Grail Knight, rising from the ancient crypts of Dracondia. The Grail Knight stands before you, the embodiment of the will of Sol. You realize the only way to stop Arglax once and for all is to destroy his colossus, the mighty Primeape. Not the Pokemon. Indeed, the Grail Knight has arrived with nary a moment to spare. Send the Grail Knight into the desert, defeat the evil beast and claim gore glory for Sol. Alright, so we have a Grail Knight here, and we are going to battle Arglax and his Prime Ape. Right, there's no way you can move to without me hitting you. I'm going in. I can't go in. Damn it! Move! Move! There you go. Now I can hit! It's the battle of luck. It's the Ape. Versus me. Go! Fight him! You have more health than he does. You should kill him easy. Nope, you got killed. Damn it, Grail Knight. And I believe that ends it for me. Yes, it does. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, battling sort of... One versus, like, one Colossus versus the, another one. A lot of the times, it is just luck, luck, luck based. It's not the nice to things. Alright, so I can go here and block you off a little bit. We can now go here and you're stuck. I can now fight you. And there are now no modifiers because you are no longer you are no longer in the desert. Hopefully we kick your ass now. Fight! Why can't I win? Why can't I win against the bleeding ape? Really? This ape is kicking my knight's ass. That shouldn't be how it is. Surely not. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm here. Let's go. Right, make the first move to here. You're not moving anywhere, Arglax. There you go. Right. Fight time. Take the field. Battle at Dankhart. I'm just going for it. Fight! Oh, the ape's weakened. The ape is weakened, and he's dead! There you go, we did it! Finally, Jesus. Yes, Arglax is vanquished. The Grail Knight has succeeded where others could not. Win one out of three against the Prime Ape. He is killed, and the Templar Church has struck a mighty blow against Arglax and the forces of evil. Glory to Sul! Let's get some more defensive tactics here. And chapter three. We're going to get to that, folks, in the next episode of Let's Play Swords and Sandals Crusader. I'll see you then.